Well, those two tigers are just chilling in the pool, but they can't take their eyes off one another or turn their heads completely away because then they become tigers. Just look at that. Let's see that face on Diego. This is so tempting. But he was too slow. He knew he was not going to be able to reach Enzo. <laughs> Inside a tiger's mind. Yeah, they are something else. Well, I'm about to feed the boys. Enzo is still in the pool. Diego just jumped out of the pool at full speed. Because I want to call them and show you guys how quick they arrive to eat. But now I have to drag their food around because I don't have another arm. Let's see that. Come in, Zo, come yet. Here he comes. Come in, Zo. <laughs> Here he is. Full of water. Come in, Zo. Jij is pap nat, zie je? Kijk hoe nat is jij. Je hebt hier lekker. Oeh, dat is lekker, nee. Ah ja, dat is wel lekker. Zack, Sachis, come on. But that is what a tiger looks like when he just came out of the pool. <laughs> now imagine him coming upstairs with you at night, getting on your bed like that, sleeping next to you right through the night during the winter. And then he's hot. Well, he did that quite a few times. He always did it, actually, to be honest. <laughs> Enzo! <laughs> and Diego as well. Are you guys not hungry yet? Let's see this. Enzo will take it. That's a fresh chicken, Enzo. Diego always likes to take one, put it down first, and then come back for it. Even if that coming back part happens within 10 seconds. But he likes to do it. It's his thing. Well, Enzo's going to eat that one. Now it is... Well, someone gave him a very good name. Fabrizio. That's what he called little factory cat. And he gave me an explanation on how it sounds like fabrication and factory and things like that and he came to Fabrizio so I've really been calling him Fabrizio for a while and I think that should be his name maybe not even his name that he's going to be called constantly but just to be smart you call him by that when he's naughty by something else so I think that might just be his name Factory Cat, a.k.a. Fabrizio. Well, Smarty Pants just led me to this little one. Yes, that is a gecko. And I'm going to put him outside somewhere where he can be safe. Let me go see where that will be. They can all just stay here for a second. Diego, look at this little gecko, Diego. Look at him. Have you ever seen such a small little thing? Look at him. His eyes are open now. Look at that. Let's go see where we can put him. Enzo. Enzo. Have you ever seen a little gecko? 
I can just grab Enzo's tail. No, pulled it away. Oh my, Enzo, hold still. There's a bee on you. Here he is. He just wants a little drink of water on Enzo, I guess. Yeah, if it was a human, he would have run for a bee. But he just wants a little drink of water from a tiger. And little smarty pants. Yeah, is this the one's worst nightmare? And Katya and Oriyoki Diego as well. Not even to talk about Computer Cat. She is the worst when it comes to little things like this. But I'm going to put him out sight and I'm sure he'll be fine. It is just not that easy always. I think I'll put him inside a sago palm because they cannot get him in one. I'm going to put him right in this one. There he is. You can hang out over there. You'll be happy in no time. Well, Diego ate and he's just chilling there with Sissy. They're telling all kinds of stories through the fence. Sissy really likes Diego. She's always there by him. And she loves just spending time with him there. Okay, let me just let her come in. Well, Diego, the cat's left you a little treat. Here it is. Are you ready? There you go. And Enzo, here is one for you as well. Yeah, that's one thing I need to always remember if the chicken is lying outside I can't let the dogs run here the cats can but not the dogs because they will eat that whole thing and it's not that good for them but the cats get their chance to eat and when they're done well the big cats finish it off not like now <laughs> like another time yeah Diego we'll show them when when you're feeling like doing it Okay, he doesn't want me to take that chicken. Come on, Diego. Yeah. Okay, go eat your chicken. Why aren't you just like Ferizio? <laughs> yeah, these cats is not intimidated by him anymore. But I'll have to say, I am. Look at that. <laughs> I won't look at your chicken. Go and eat it. Enzo's gonna take it. I think that is what he's angry about now, is that Enzo might take his chicken. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Like always, have a great day. Diego, a goodbye growl. What is wrong? I think he didn't want me to put that chicken there. He felt it's more safe on this side of the fence. I should have only given him the chicken. Well, 8 o'clock tonight. He would have appreciated that more. Sorry, Diego. I'll, I'll remember that next time. Okay. <laughs> well, I just cut the thread on... 
the oil for the relocation piece and uh, yeah believe me you don't find that thread anywhere in South Africa it's a 13 16 of an inch we don't work in inches here we do find it here and there but nothing like this so I had to make it on the lathe I'll show you guys what I did how I did it well the thread inside there should be 13 16 of an inch and 16 threads per inch and that's something that you won't get in South Africa we work with metric sizes so finding that is impossible but that's where certain things if you have done a trade comes in I know how to operate this machine and I can set it with its little gearbox over here so it gives me the right pitch and then I can just cut those threads so I'm using one of these fittings I'm going to machine it out smooth in the inside up to the right size and then cut new threads and problem solved instead of ordering one and waiting for it for a month I can just do that yeah always helps if you know how to do things like this yeah Hendrik's voice is still a little gone but it's coming back at least That's how you do it. Just keep on going until it's deep enough. I just got a sample of the thread, so I'm gonna test it and see if it screws in. And then it's done. So something that you can't just buy, but you can make it. And that is a nice thing to be able to do. That's it, it goes in. A little tight over there but that will be just fine right two more cuts and I'm done right let's see that that's it it's perfect right now I can install the whole oil system that actually all the plumbing to take the oil to the oil coolers and the oil filter relocation yeah Porsche is coming on very nicely and uh, yeah but listen to smarty pants he's heard enough about this he wants his food so yeah let me go and get them their food feed all the tigers the dogs have already ate and most of the cats but now over to the tigers let me get there and the boys are ready to eat. Enzo, are you hungry? He didn't even say anything. He's so hungry, he didn't even say anything. Oh. <laughs> Diego. Maybe they're not so hungry. Maybe he didn't say anything because he's not hungry. There you go, Diego. Well, smarty pants. He's definitely hungry. <laughs> just look at them all here they are okay well factory cat someone suggested a new name for him and it's a very nice name it's an Italian name and I must just get to the pronunciation again I can't remember it right now I'll get it in a second 
It is actually Fabrizio. Yeah. Or Fabrizio. I'm not really sure yet, but it's a beautiful name. And I think I want to call him Frappizio. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Maybe it is his name. I think it's going to stick because I've been calling him that for a day or two now. And, yeah, well, I wonder if he is reacting to it because he reacts to nothing. But it sure sounds good. Tracy, you're not going to eat the cat's food again. Okay, she does take a chance now and then. I'm keeping her on this side these days cause she's having a bit of trouble with Daisy. I did put them together this morning and everything went well, but I'm not leaving her alone with Daisy for a while. Sometimes they just get a bit upset with one another and they want to fight, but I will do whatever I can prevent them from fighting okay boys are eating let me just give Enzo another one or let me just put down one for the cat first Enzo watch out Diego watch out run on his tail <laughs> yeah okay here we go I still have a couple of things to do but let me just throw this one also to Diego. <laughs> he gets a little bit of that fright whenever it lands right there by him. Well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a good day.